Welcome to our conversation on benefits for the 2018-19 year. This conversation is really to go through the information that's been provided to you in the benefits guide, the hard copy form, and we sent those out to the homes. They should be arriving shortly if you haven't received yours yet. But this is a presentation just kind of walk you through some of the bigger changes that we have for the year and to share some of that information. We also have some information sessions that are scheduled for the last week in March. And uh, we have three of those in Spokane. I'm not sure what we're doing in Hebron, but uh, the information in this video is the exact same information that we're providing in those sessions. So if you come to those sessions, that's great. Come, you can ask questions, but I'm really delivering the same information. Also for those information sessions, if you'd like, you can invite your spouse or just simply forward this YouTube link uh, so that your spouse can watch this and get the right information as well as you're trying to make some decisions for the 2018-19 benefits plan year. So let's, uh, let's get started with what we have. As you recall, some of our goals for our health care plan are these. First of all, our primary goal is to take care of the health and well-being of all employees and their families. If your health isn't there, just things aren't right. And we want to take care of our employees as much as we can. But that also means with our second goal that we want to provide affordable quality health care for you and your families. And by doing so, then you know, we, we understand that it's getting tougher to make that dollar stretch. And so anything we can do to help uh, mediate and mitigate the cost of health care, we're doing our best to do that. And with the help of everyone over the past couple of years, we've made a lot of progress. And that's where we have some new opportunities this year that I'm excited to share. And then, of course, our third opportunity is to manage health care costs so we can ensure ongoing profitability of the company. And as everyone knows, profitability of the company is good because we share in that as well with bonuses and profit sharing contributions. So last year we rolled out a new plan, the high deductible plan, in addition to the PPO plan, that's the traditional plan. So as we did that, we were looking ahead and we're wondering, you know, how's this gonna play out? It's worked out very well and we're going to continue to offer both this year. So as a reminder, last year we became self-funded with our health insurance. So what that means is that instead of just paying a monthly check to Primera and saying, please manage our account for us, uh, we took on the risk ourselves. And so we do still use Primera. We want access to their network, so we pay for their, their access, and we also pay them to pay our bills. And that's, that's our relationship. So instead of just sending them a check and hoping for the best, the money is in our account. So the money that we contribute in premiums is right there. And what their, that money goes to is we're paying directly for claims. We're paying directly for meds that you get from the pharmacy. We're getting, uh, we're, we have to pay the third party administrators to pay the bills. And we also pay for stop loss insurance. That's the insurance. So when we have some high claims, uh, that's a secondary insurance that we tap into. So any time that we can save a few bucks, it really means we're saving a few bucks, not just for our own pockets, but for the plan. And the more money we can save for the plan, the better we're able to adjust the healthcare costs in the future. So with that said, let me, uh, let me give you a review of what we have on tap for the two plans for this year. First on the PPO plan, uh, again, like I said, we had some great experience over the last couple of years. So we're, we're excited to announce that we have a 0% rate increase for the PPO plan. So if you like that plan, if that works for you and your family, uh, the good news is, is that there's no change to the cost for the upcoming year. This is the traditional plan. And so there is a thousand dollar deductible, but that typically only applies to uh, some specialty care, some diagnostic things such as MRIs, um, uh, your surgeries, uh, some some other things, your typical expenditures for meds, uh, for going to the doctor, that all falls under the co-pays and then in some cases the co-insurance. Now those on the PPO plan have access to a health account known as the flexible spending account and that's where you can set aside this year up to $2,650. That's tax-free. It's taken out of your paychecks throughout the year and you have full access to that amount to cover your health care costs, dental costs, vision costs, anything that's on the qualified expenditure list. Now this plan still has its the, the out-of-pocket max for families is still three so uh, the individual out-of-pocket max is still $3,500 so that's a maximum of $10,500 for the family in case you have some significant expenditures through the year. And the deductibles as well, that's a $1,000 deductible for each person. So if you have a family that's uh, over three people in your family, then the maximum that you'll pay for the deductibles is, is three times that or $3,000 as a whole. Uh, so anyway, here's some good news. 
we were able to drop our generic rate from $15 per prescription down to $10 a prescription. So that should save you some money. And we're also happy to announce for the PPO plan that the copay for Teladoc is only 10 bucks. Now, last year we promoted Teladoc with the uh, you know uh, telemedicine. Uh, that's a great opportunity. We'll talk about it more, but it's a great opportunity to, to save a lot of money and get the exact same health care that you need. It's more convenient. And so this year we dropped it down to $10 as your copay. So 10 bucks to see a doctor. Seriously, that's all it costs. All right, for the high deductible plan, uh, here's some exciting news. We were actually able to drop those rates by another 15%. Now, if you recall last year when we implemented this, we took the current rates and we dropped those rates by 10%. And so for 2018 and 19, we're dropping them an additional 15%. So the premiums that are reflected on the rate sheet that's inside of your benefits guide and uh, maybe floating around, that reflects a, a, an additional 15% decrease. So that's, that's pretty substantial. Now, the high deductible plan, you still have access to the same network. It's still the same Primera network. You still have access to the same doctors, the same services. We just have a different way that we manage it, the, the costs up front. So in this case, it's $1,350 as a deductible. And in this case, the deductible applies to everything, everything that's not preventative wellness. So if you have your wellness check, if you have some preventative medicines, those, uh, those you'll get for free still. But for everything else, doctor's visits, uh, regular prescriptions and such, you need to meet your deductible before the co-pays and co-insurance kicks in. Now, if you have a spouse or a de dependent or, um, or a family, then you'll need to have that uh, deductible. The deductible applies to individuals, but there's a maximum of two deductibles for fam per family. So you will need to meet the $2,700 deductible uh, for the entire family before you can roll into coinsurances and co-pays, uh, but there are only two deductibles. Um, you do have access to a health savings account, and that's where we drop the wellness contributions. We'll talk more about that later in the presentation. Uh, but that's where you can set aside up to $3,450 as an individual and up to $6,850 uh, for a family or a couple. Now, last year, we explained through the HSA rollout that there were some situations where some people may not be eligible to have an HSA account. Uh, there are some certain exceptions, such as if one of your children are double covered and the other plan that they're covered on is a PPO plan. Uh, if you are currently covered by Tri TRICARE or TRICARE for Life, if you take any kind of Medicare uh, coverage, uh, those things disqualify you from having an HSA. However, what we've picked up is that we have another alternative called a health reimbursement account, an HRA. It works much the same as the HSA in that we as the employer will drop money into your account for wellness activities. Uh, the money will roll over from year to year. It won't expire uh, and, and you can carry it on. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Now, for the high deductible plan, we were actually able to drop the out-of-pocket max for the family down to two. Remember on the PPO, it's still three, but here we have only two out-of-pocket maxes for the high deductible plan. So it went down from a maximum of 10,005 for the family to 7,000 for those on the high deductible plan. Uh, again, I mentioned deductibles, you have to meet it uh, times two of those for the family or a couple. Uh, the $10 generics do apply to the high deductible plan, but only after you meet your deductible. So once you hit your deductible, then we roll into copays and you'll have access to those $10 generics. As well, we are, we're also able to drop the diagnostic services from 20% down to 10%. So that's for things such as MRIs or x-rays. Instead of paying 20% coinsurance, it'll be down to 10%. And again, uh, be aware, we will need to uh, meet the deductible before those coinsurances kick in. As mentioned before, the HSA contribution, uh, we were able to set aside uh, some additional money. Now this year, the deductible did go up for the high deductible plan. That's a federal requirement. It went up by $50 as the minimum. And so we had to raise our deductible by 50. But uh, we also raised our HSA contribution by uh, that same $50, and so I'll explain more about that later on. For both plans, we also have a tobacco incentive, and what that is is that we will discount your rates by $50 a month for being tobacco-free. So that does require a test, a cotinine test, and to do that, um, uh, we offer those on-site at the on-site clinics. 
uh, as I'm uh, aware, Spokane still has a few dates that are available. Uh, but all the tobacco tests, these, uh, these uh, cotinine tests, need to be completed by April 4th. That's the last date to get it in if you want this incentive. Now, again, we offer them at no cost to you on site. If you want to go get it done somewhere else at your own cost and bring in the test results, that's totally fine too. But everything needs to be to us by April 4th. Likewise, we have wellness incentives, and I'll talk more about the wellness incentives for the high deductible plan. But for the PPO plan, we offer a $25 a month discount for the employee completing their, bio, their biometrics. Uh, just the employee. Just come in, get them done. We're not looking at the results. We just want you to get the biometrics done. That's worth 25 bucks a month for a total of 300 bucks a year. So that's that's a lot. We offer the biometrics on site. So be sure to get signed up for those. Everything for the PPO plan for those wellness incentives, again, has to be completed by April 4th so we can get your discounts in the system in time for open enrollment. So looking ahead, just a quick reminder of how the high deductible plan looks. We have an opportunity where you can set aside money tax-free to uh, put into this investment account. And so for the individuals, the rates again went up a little bit. So it's 3450 that you can set aside. Now that does include a combination of what we as the employer provide and what you provide. So that combined total cannot exceed 3450 And if you have a, a spouse or dependent or family on the plan, then, or actually not even on the plan, if you just have that, then you can set aside up to 6850 uh, for the year. Now, if you're age 55 or older, you can actually set aside an additional $1,000 into the HSA account. That's allowable. So with this money, you uh, it's, it's not user to lose it. You're able to keep it in the account for as long as you want. The money is yours. Once you earn it, once you set it aside, that's your money. Uh, the great news is that if you would like, you can take a portion of that money and invest it just as you would your 401k. So essentially, this does become a 401k for healthcare. Um, so with that, you can spend the money on uh, qualified healthcare expenditures, just like you do with the FSA or the HRA. And uh, it's great. It's just a great opportunity to set aside money and save it for when you might need it. Now, with the new program, the health reimbursement account. Uh, we didn't say much about it last year because we kind of picked it up at the very, very last minute, the 11th hour, not enough time to roll it out. But here's the deal. If you want to be on the high deductible plan, but you are unable to have an HSA, we've got a solution for you. It's called the health reimbursement account. Now this HRA is a little bit different with this account. Only the employer can contribute to it. You need to be on the high deductible plan. That's just how we created the program. You have to be on the high deductible plan to be eligible to get the incentives dropped into your HRA account. So again, you must be ineligible for the HSA plan. So you can't just go into high deductible and say, I want the HRA instead of the HSA. You have to come to HR and demonstrate or prove to us that, that you're uh, disqualified. And so in this case, again, this money just spends like the FSA or the HSA. You can spend the money on qualified expenditures. It does accumulate. It carries over from year to year. And even after you retire, if you would like, you can take the money with you and use it after retirement. Now, because the HRA is employer only, and that would only go up to a maximum of whatever those wellness contributions are, you are allowed to have a, an additional FSA account, a flexible spending account, if you have an HRA. So if this sounds a little confusing, I understand it. It's a, it's a new, it's a kind of a new program. So if you fall into this category and you're interested, please come talk to one of us in HR and we'll help you out. All right, for those on the high deductible plan, the criteria are the same as last year for uh, getting the wellness incentives. Uh, I already talked about the tobacco incentive, but here's what the layout is. For those who uh, complete the biometric screening, that's just to complete it, uh, you earn 200 bucks. We have the four criteria of blood pressure, BMI, cholesterol, and blood sugar. And every time that you complete that biometric and pass it, that's worth $100 a piece. Now we're using Vitality to manage this program. So we really don't see your results. We don't, uh, we don't touch your data. Uh, so all the information is run through Vitality. They have their criteria for what a pass is for each of these. So once you meet each of those criteria, you get $100 each. 
Now, once you complete all the biometrics and you've met all of the conditions, all the criteria, we're going to throw in an additional $200. So if you do the math, that means we're going to pay you $800 for passing these four biometrics. That's some good cash. But wait, there's more. So we've also got the gold status. If you achieve the gold status in Vitality, that's going to be $200. And if you get up to the platinum status and complete all of your biometric requirements, then we drop in another $350. So altogether, that's $1,350. A uh, great opportunity to really uh, get some money that you can set aside. So if you're doing the math, yes, you're correct. This $1,350 can completely wipe away your entire deductible. Now, if you're married, then your spouse can also do this. They will also need to complete the biometrics. They'll need to complete this, work it through Vitality, get their account set up on Vitality, and uh, complete all these requirements as well. So if, for you and a spouse, or uh, you know, for you and a spouse, that means that you can earn up to $2,700 a year. Now, if you're an employee with just kids, there are some ways to get the other 1350 once you complete yours. So come talk to us in HR and we'll talk to, uh, we'll, we'll tell you more about that. All right. So here was what the rates look like for the high deductible plan. So the premiums on the, in the middle where it says monthly premium, that is uh, just the full rate. So if you do not get the tobacco discount, these are what the rates look like. And they do reflect that 15% discount from last year. The rates to the right are the premiums with the tobacco discount. So if you completed the tobacco discount requirement, eh, there's, there's, there are what the rates are there. So the employee only rate did not change for the high deductible plan. We did drop it 15% for the others, but uh, it's 10 bucks. So um, we, we think it's a pretty fair price for, for the employee only coverage for the, the health insurance plan. But the rates here, I mean, we brought the, the, the employee plus children rates back under 200 bucks. We brought the employee plus family rates under 400 bucks. Uh, we haven't seen those rates for a while, so we're pretty excited. For the PPO, again, the rates are the exact same as they were before. So the monthly premium amount on the column on the left, that just shows what the full rate is without any discounts. The second column shows um, what the rates are if you only do the tobacco premium. The third column is if you only do the wellness premium. And the, one, the fourth column there at the end, shows what the rates are if you do both the tobacco and the uh, wellness discount. Again, if you're confused or have any questions about this, please just come over to HR. We can talk you through it. Uh, so let's talk about some other ways to save some money. So one option that we have is the Primera 24-hour nurse line. You know, you have those times, especially if you have some kids and you wake up and it always happens at 2 a.m., right, when it's the most inconvenient at all. So there's not a doctor's office open. There's not an urgent care open. And there's that question of just how sick is my kid? Do I need to take him into the ER? And uh, just by calling this 24-hour nurse line, uh, you can talk to a live nurse and uh, talk through some of your symptoms and get some advice as to whether you can treat it at home wait for them to wait until the morning to go see the doctor or take them into the ER right away. The phone number for the nurse line is on the back of your blue card. So uh, I recommend grabbing that, putting it up on the fridge somewhere convenient and having that on hand. Another option that you have is something that I addressed before I, I introduced before, and that's Teladoc. Teladoc is telemedicine where you can talk to a live doctor either over the phone or over video chat uh, from the comfort of your home. So if you've got some common things, such as you got the flu, the flu, the crud, you've got sinus infections, you've got, I mean, it's just some common stuff. You, you kind of have an idea. You just need a doctor uh, to talk you through it. Uh, give Teladoc a call. Uh, you can do it from home. You don't have to wait for days to get into the doctor. You don't have to get there and then wait for three hours in the waiting room to finally see the doctor where they're only going to spend a few minutes with you anyway. Give Teladoc a try first. Now, as I mentioned before, Teladoc for the PPO group, is, the copay is only 10 bucks. So not only is it more convenient where you can do it from home and talk to a doctor right there, but it's only going to cost you 10 bucks to talk to a doctor. Now, for those on the high deductible plan, as you're aware, if we go into the doctor and our deductible has not been met, we have to pay for the whole price. And those doctor's office visits can run anywhere from, you know, 100 bucks up to up to 250 bucks, even with the Primera discount. So that said, uh, while, while you're still meeting your deductible, Teladoc only costs 40 bucks, 40 bucks. 
that's the full price. And then the cool thing is that if you meet your deductible, get that all paid up, then uh, that's it, it falls under 20% coinsurance. So what that means to you is Teladoc is eight bucks. Eight bucks to see a doctor. You know, it's that's great. So you save time, it's very convenient. The doctors can write prescriptions, they can work through some things. Again, if it's more severe or if it's complicated, then just like any other doctor where you go there and they can't figure it out, they're going to recommend that you go see another specialist or a different doctor. That happens uh, no matter what, what, what the situation. But in this case, if it's a common cold, a common occurrence, give them a call. They can walk you through it. They can write prescriptions, send them to your pharmacy. They can do all kinds of things. So I mean, something to think about. Information on Teladoc is in the brochure, and you can access Teladoc by going out to Primera.com. Uh, logging into your portal, and there's plenty of information there. A third option we announced this past year is what's called Petra RX. This is another source of prescription drugs. They're the same drugs as you're getting uh, from your current vendors, from your current pharmacy. Uh, they don't have every single drug, but they have a lot of drugs that are available. For those on the PPO plan, if they have your drug, then you can get a 90 day prescription. They'll send it to your house directly and it will cost you nothing. We waive the entire co-pays, co-insurance. Yeah, the, we don't have co-insurances, but uh, we, we waive all the co-pays on your prescription drugs if you order it through Petra RX. Again, they may not have everything that you're taking, but if they have a few drugs, this is a great way to save you a lot of money on co-pays, saves the plan a lot of money, and we all get ahead. Now, for those of you who are on the high deductible plan, here's the cool thing too. If you have preventative meds, there's a list of 300 drugs that are considered preventative in nature. Uh, you don't have to pay a thing for those, but if you do it through Petra RX, then not only can you get set up with a 90 day prescription, but you can help save the plan a lot of money. Just seeing what the cost differences are between what we pay for the Petra drugs that people are using versus uh, what we're getting through Primera, it's saving us a ton of money. So anyway, if you need more information, there's some information in the brochure, in the booklet, or come see us in HR. Finally, talk about healthcare. I know we've been talking about it for a bit, but that's the big, kind of the big deal here. Uh, but we have some opportunities. Being self-funded, we're able to form some different relationships with uh, providers that gives us access to uh, quality medical care, but it can save us a ton of money. So I'm going to tell you about two options that we have here. So if you're willing to maybe take a, you know, take a little journey, go a little bit out of your way, <clears throat> out of your way, we can save ourselves a lot of money. So let's talk about Northwest Specialty Hospital as an example. They're located in Post Falls, and we have formed a relationship with them. And they, you know, they're working with us. So we have two opportunities. Uh, number one, if if even if you're still meeting your high deductible portion of the plan, if you need to go get a diagnostic done, so for example, um, an MRI or a CT, the cost of the associated with those those. Um, tests over at Northwest Specialty Hospital are so much less expensive than our local providers. In fact, we had one employee this spring who went over, had a complicated shoulder MRI. It was going to be uh, $2,200 or more than that for the standard MRI at one of the local providers. They popped over to Northwest Specialty Hospital. It cost them $1,100 for the exact same MRI. Now, he was on the high deductible plan, and so, of course, that's his money. He just saved $1,100 by taking a 20-minute trip over to Post Falls. It, it's cool. They run the insurance, so your deductible will count. Um, everything's the, the same. They're, they're a great medical provider. They just uh, they save, save money on the overhead, and they pass on the savings to us. Now, if you have something bigger, such as uh, knee replacement, hip replacement, other things like that, uh, let's talk because Northwest Specialty Hospital has some opportunities. They use the standard doctors, standard anesthesiologists that the other hospitals are using, um, but we we can save as much as you know fifty to sixty percent off of these off of these procedures. So, as an example, you know, a, knee, a full knee replacement, maybe a hip replacement, we could be upwards near fifty to sixty thousand dollars. And something like that may only cost about $20,000 at Northwest Specialty Hospital. So here's what's in it for you. If you come talk to us and it makes sense and these uh, these options are less expensive than what you have available, uh, we can do some creative things such as waiving your copay. We can waive your deductible. We can waive your co-insurance. We can make it practically free for you to go get these, uh, these uh, procedures done uh, just by going 20 minutes away. 
So again, if you have some of those things coming up, come see me. Another thing that we have is what's called medical tourism. And this is an opportunity where, again, if you have some large, uh, some large events happening or some different surgeries that, that you need to have happen, we have a relationship with medical travel option uh, for to take a look at some procedures done out of the country. These are JCI accredited locations. They, uh, they meet uh, very strict international standards. And having visited them this past, uh, this past winter, uh, I can tell you they look and feel just like they do here in the United States. But there may be some opportunities there for us to, uh, if, if you're willing, to, to have the procedures done there. They use the exact same equipment, the exact same procedures. <clears throat> I can send you there, get it done, pay for a, a travel companion, pay for your, your room and board, waive your deductibles, waive your, your co-insurances, and, uh, and we can all save a lot of money. So again, if you have those kind of bigger things going on, come see me. Let's talk to somebody in HR. We can figure some things out. All right, let's talk about the other things. I'm done with healthcare. Sorry again that that took so long, but uh, we have a lot to cover and a lot of information there. So let's talk about Delta. Delta, we're excited to say that there's no rate increase. Actually, there was a rate increase, but because we were doing so well on the health insurance, uh, WAG staff decided to eat the entire cost. So the employer ate the 5% increase for the year. Now, we were going in with a 0% rate increase, but we decided to increase the, uh, really expand some of the services that we have. So one thing that we have is free dental for kids under 13. So if you have kids on the plan who are under the, sorry, under the age of 14, they're 13 and, and lower. If they're under the age of 14, uh, they get free dental care uh, through Delta Dental. That does exclude orthodontia. That's different. The orthodontia is still the same of uh, paying 50% of orthodontia up to a max of 1500 bucks. Uh, but all the other dental care for kids who are under 14, free, free, no cost. The other thing that we changed is how we uh, have the annual maximums. So Currently, up until currently, we've had an annual maximum of $1,500 per person. That's the max that the plan would cover per year. <clears throat> for those who go get their preventative work done each year, at least once, then every for every year that you go, that maximum amount increases by $250 a year up to a maximum of $2,500. So if you go get your preventative, well, your preventative checkups done through Delta Dental this year, then next year you'll have a maximum of $1,750 for your dental coverage. You go again, you've got $2,000, and that goes up to $2,500. So it's a good incentive to go get your preventative work done. All right, what else? Let's talk about vision care. Nothing changed there. Same plan, same price, same everything. So go get your glasses. All right, Cigna, we offer a number of programs through Cigna to really provide for you. So we have some basic life and that's and basic AD&D. Those premiums are covered 100% by Wagstaff with the basic life that's a, a benefit of two times your annual salary. Um, and, and those are just some opportunities for you. We also have short-term disability program through Cigna for hourly employees. There's a short-term disability program for exempt, um, the exempt salaried employees. It's a little different, uh, but Cigna offers the short-term disability for the uh, hourly employees. And we also have long-term disability in case uh, something, you know, something rough is taking place and we can't quite make it through the short-term disability. Now, we do also offer some additional supplemental life programs, so supplemental life insurance. And so that will be available through open enrollment. You can see what the rates are based on your age and, and occupation. Uh, then you can buy it through there with our group rates. And if you'd like to buy up your supplemental AD&D just for some additional coverage, then you're welcome to do so as well. We also offer the Employee Assistance Program through Cigna. That's an opportunity for employees and their families, their kids, everyone to have access to free counseling services, among other things. There are several services that are listed in the booklet, but the EAP allows up to eight sessions with a professional counselor for every issue that comes up. And so what, what happens, you call into Cigna's uh, EAP line, Tell them just generally what's going on. They provide a list of providers here locally, professional counselors, and it costs you nothing. You go in, you can have up to eight sessions with the counselor. So it's pretty cool. And that's per person who's on the plan. And again, that, that uh, program of the EAP is offered at no cost to you, but we just wanted to let you know about it. All right, a new program that we're rolling out this year, a new voluntary benefit, is called Legal Shield and ID Shield. 
So this provides you with an opportunity to buy up if you have some foreseen or if you want some protection where you can tap into some legal services uh, and also uh, identity theft protection. So more information will be provided through open enrollment and I believe that April may have already sent this information out, but it is available. They're offering it to us at some, some pretty attractive group rates. So uh, for more information, talk to HR or uh, you know, take a look at the other information we've provided. Also to keep you aware is the Smart Dollar program. We rolled this out last year. <laughs> this is the Dave Ramsey program. Now in the past, before they had this as a portal, uh, we would have these classes or employers would have these classes where you'd have to come in for multiple weeks. These packets cost like 150 bucks a piece to attend this class. We're providing this program to you at no cost. So by enrolling at this uh, website that's here on the screen, and you can see that in the booklet too, you, your spouse, your kids, get your family in there. There are videos, there are lessons, presentations, worksheets, uh, tools, all kinds of things to help you with your financial wellness. A couple other programs that are just reminders. Health Advocate is at is available to you at no cost. So if you have some situations where you can't find a doctor or you need to find a specialist, if you need help scheduling appointments, if you need to untangle some messy insurance claims or denials, find some services, uh, figure out a second opinion, give Health Advocate a call. It, it's free to you. It's free to you. And the other uh, thing out here is AFLAC. That'll be a separate presentation that that, that will be available uh, at the Wellness Fair where AFLAC will be on site. Uh, this is additional critical illness and accident coverage. They have some good rates. They're offering us some great uh, group rates uh, for this. So if you are interested, you can talk more to them at the Wellness Fair. Home Street Bank continues to offer us some deals if you're looking for a home loan. And so you can tap into those services. And then just a reminder that we have the Charles Schwab program for your 401k. You can change your benefits there, your contributions at any time at uh, the website for Charles Schwab. Uh, but that was just a friendly reminder that you have that and the contributions in there from the employer uh, as part of the benefits package. So here's some important dates to keep in mind. For those in Spokane, we have some open enrollment meetings. As I mentioned, we're talking about the same thing there as we're talking about here in this video. So no new information. It does give you an opportunity to ask questions, but you can ask us questions anytime. Shoot us an email, stop by. Again, spouses are invited to the open enrollment meetings, but we have those next week on March 28th and on March 29th. We also have the Wellness Fair, uh, as I understand it. Hebron had their Wellness Fair on the 22nd of March, so we're a little late for that. But for those in Spokane on April 4th from 1 to 4 p.m., we will be having a Wellness Fair. We're bringing in several vendors, including Primera, Vitality will be there, uh, a bunch of them to, to just give you some opportunities to learn more and, and see more. And if nothing else, come on down and grab some swag. Everyone wants to go swag shopping, so it'll be fun for the whole family. Anyway, uh, do bring your spouse. Spouses are definitely invited. We do have biometrics that are taking place on that date. Uh, so you can get signed up for some of those there. Uh, but it's going to be downstairs, building A, down through the lunchroom and the media room, and it'll be a good time. So open enrollment itself, it's going to roll out on April 9th. That's when we started up. It's going to go for two weeks. So you have until April 20th to get her done. That gives us plenty of time to make sure that all the details are set so we can fix any errors and get things set up so the benefits start as they should on June 1st. So that's it. That's all I got. So anyway, we're excited again to recap uh, some pretty substantial discounts for our health insurance, some positive changes. We're heading in the right direction. So our challenge this year is to keep up the good work. Uh, become educated, find some new opportunities to really bend the healthcare curve and to do our part to, to really be responsible consumers of healthcare. And as we do, we can truly work together to continue this trend. We can buck this trend and, and do what it takes to make us healthier and keep our costs lower. So again, any questions, contact us in HR. But other than that, thank you very much.